Hi, I'm Neil O'Brady, osteopath, and today I'm going to explain a test to identify the deep vein thrombosis. The test in isolation won't tell you for definite if you have deep vein thrombosis. It has a low sensitivity and specificity. However, with a clinical examination and observation, can help to identify a person with a potential deep vein thrombosis. What you would also be looking for in conjunction with this test would be heat in the calf, swelling in the calf, redness in the calf, and you talk about the person's history as well, in which case they may have been laid up after an injury, so they would have been sedentary, or they may have come back from a long haul flight. Okay, so how we would do the test is this. I would have Nicola sitting off the edge of the couch with the knee flexed, and in this position I will dorsiflex the ankle, stress the vascular structures. Uh, in a deep vein thrombosis that may cause pain, and I will also gently squeeze the calf and work my way up and there may be pain at the side of the deep vein thrombosis. You don't want to squeeze too hard, you want to do gradually increase the pressure. Okay, why is the leg flexed? That's in some videos you'll see and some people will show you this test with the leg extended. I think it's better to have the leg flexed and the reason for that is uh, if a person has a lot of myofascial muscular tightness here, stretching the leg may stretch the muscles and make it uh, sore, they may be sore already, so when you squeeze then that further uh, dilutes the test and you're not sure if it's muscular tightness or deep vein thrombosis. Also when the leg is extended, um, that can traction the static nerve and if the person has an issue in the lower lumbers, such as an L5-S1 disc bulge, um, that may irritate the static nerve by straightening the leg like that. Um, and when you dorsiflex the foot, that may further irritate it, so that, that uh, dilutes the test even further. So by flexing the knee, we to some extent take those, those aspects out of it and make it a more specific and sensitive test to a deep vein thrombosis. If you do suspect that the, your patient may have a deep vein thrombosis, um, do refer them on. It's not something you want to miss and it's not something you want to treat or put heavy pressure on and do massage on and possibly break up that, pulmonary, that deep vein thrombosis and um, give them a pulmonary embolism. You don't want that to happen. So if in doubt, send them on. Okay. Thank you. If you liked the video, uh, please subscribe or leave comments in the comment section if you want any questions answered and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.